Oh, hey. I didn't notice you there. I was too busy jamming. I know you wonder why I was doing that. Well, let me tell you. It's time for another Blue Satire Quick Review. And today, the game we're going to be talking about is Hi-Fi Rush. And you know how these reviews go. I'm not going to keep you too long. I'm going to tell you what I like, what I dislike, and if you should get the game. And we're going to end it off with a letter grade. So, what is Hi-Fi Rush? Xbox had a developer direct today. Xbox recently had a developer direct and they showed a couple of games, but they showed one game that caught my eye and it dropped the same day and that's Hi-Fi Rush. You're a wannabe rockstar Chai and you'll fight back against sinister robots with enhancements trying to get you because you're a defect apparently. But here's the catch. All the fighting, all of those stages, everything is rhythm amplified combat. Everything goes with the motion. The music is the level, and I love that. Every sound is on beat. The environment moves to the beat. Every blow in combat adds to the music. So it's a rhythm game, but it's a fighting rhythm game and it does something that you don't see often. What are the good things about this game? Well, first and foremost, the music. I love I love a good soundtrack and the soundtrack is the key part to this game. And as you fight in this game, you'll continue to get combos and rack combos up. The music changes depending on how well you do or what combo you do. And speaking of combos, there are so many different combos and combinations that you can do, so many upgradable tools to your disposal you got different specials you got different chips to enhance your powers you got some assist characters it's a very deep system for something that only costs about thirty dollars or forty dollars and that is also on game pass but the best thing about it again is the music the way it looks in the field hey That's bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I want to hear the copyrighted songs now. The game gets you wrapped in real quick. The story and the voice acting is pretty cool. You might notice some familiar voices. The dialogue. Everything about this game is great. And I don't have too much bad to say about it. Definitely play this with your headphones on. And definitely get some time to the side and just enjoy the world that you're putting and again like the music just it just deserves a, a high praise for the music the cell shaded graphics there's so much going for it there's so much personality in this game and if you ask me you should go ahead and get this game especially if you got game pass because it's there today and if you don't have game pass and you want to support it and buy it it's also on steam and in the xbox store but what grade would i give this game you already know what it is and I'm gonna do something different because of the game and this rank is, you know, they got B, C, D, E, A, but I'm gonna give it an S rank because it does what it's supposed to do. It's fun, the music is fire, the game is fire, the characters are cool and it had me wrapped up. Anytime I play a game and don't wanna get off, you know it's a good game. And I gotta give it a good grade because I want y'all to go out there and play it. So please go try out High Fire Rush. It's already turned into one of my favorite games of the year so far. And um, that's all for me. Let me know how you feel about this game. And are you going to check it out? Let me know in the comment section. But that's it for me. That was another quick satire review. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Man, what have I gotten myself into? Well, at least it'll be a cool story to tell in five years. Normally not a cat guy, but I'm digging this. Oh, he's so fucking cute. You can pet the cat. I just got a I just got a reward for petting the cat. Do it again. Normally not a cat guy, but I'm digging this. And they playing high five.